Hey folks, Carl here and welcome to episode 3 of Edward's BF109 G2. Okay folks, so we have the two halves done. We have the cockpit itself and we have this little back plate of the cockpit as well so what we're going to do now is if you can remember we made this filter wash when we were making the King Tiger so we are going to use this which is made from NATO black uh, Tamiya with just some UMP airbrush thinner and it's quite a large ratio of thinner to paint just to make a filter rather than a wash and this stuff is really really thin and all we're going to do is we're going to paint it over the top of all our parts. Now I've already done this bit you can just see where I went up to and all we're doing is we're taking that shiny edge off shiny edge off of things and this pooling slightly in some of the recessed areas so this is nice and mixed up. So we just dip our brush in, take away the excess, and we're literally just gonna paint over the top of everything. There's no gloss coat on this, so and that is it. And all we have done is added a little layer. It's a bit shiny at the moment because it's wet. Little layer of grime. So we're going to do the same with this back panel. Like so, and of course the cockpit itself. So. Put it on quite thick. There's no need to be scrimpy with it, how thin this is mixed. Like I say, all we are doing is putting a little bit of grimy edge to things. And then we shall let it all dry. And we just lost a seatbelt. That wasn't glued on very well. So we'll put that back on once this is dry. So there we go. Again, just a very thin layer. We shall see what it's like when it's dry. And if we think it needs another coat, we'll put another coat on. So, I'll let this dry and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we have gone and we have put a second coat on these cockpit parts. So, just so you can see, we just added a little bit more colour dampening, shall we say, taking that slight edge off on both sides. We have also gone and put the seat belt back on here. And this has only had one coat, so I'm going to drop another coat on this. Um, and then, once that is dry, we will be ready to get the two cockpit halves together. So, now, note to self, be a little bit more careful this time so we don't catch and damage the seatbelt. So I'm just going to give this a really good soak in. This very thin filter. You 
being extra careful not to break anything off it this time. second coat on there so we shall leave that alone to dry and we will take a look at what parts we need to get off the sprues to get these parts all stuck together so I shall be back once this is dry talk to you in a moment okay folks so <coughs> excuse me before we put these together we're supposed to be putting the machine guns in the nose here now as I was attempting to put those in they pinged and disappeared so we are going to scratch build some from a pair of these from a tank kit now they're not going to be super accurate but we're going to cut the two ends off and glue them in place so I'll take these as far back as I can. I've already given them a very quick sand down to take as much of the seam lines off as I can. So we are ending up with just this small piece with a little nub on the end. Not accurate but close enough for what you'll see from just looking at it. So we're going to put a coat of glue on the end of there pair of our tweezers. I'm going to place them in somewhere where they should be. So they are just about visible. And that will do us as a replacement. So we shall leave that to dry and then we will do exactly the same again. Plop it down, get it into position, as close as, and leave it like so to dry. So, talk to you in a moment. Okay, folks, so I have had to put this together <coughs> off camera. Um, at the moment, it is all just sitting taped up, there's nothing glued yet. In order to get some of this parts in, um, we've got front ring here that's uh, we glued into one half to start off with. We glued in the cockpit itself into one half, obviously the same half. And then we started to try and push it together, but this arm here we had to break because it didn't fit correctly. Um, it still needs a little bit of moving around and manipulation to get it into place to glue it. But at the moment this is just being held together with the tape so we can actually squeeze it and manipulate it and move it around and get it stuck into place. Um, so that is going to be the next stage. We'll put a few dabs here and there, let that dry completely and then we'll remove the tape and glue the rest. So I'm going to get on with that and then of course we've got this piece that goes on the back there like so. So I'm going to go and put some dabs of glue on this and once that glue is dry we shall take another look. So talk to you shortly. Okay folks, that should be us with enough glue to hold this all together without the need for all of this tape. So I'm going to take it all off and see how we are.
so the part we did there didn't quite stick properly so we stuck at the back and then we stuck here We've got a little bit here so we need to do the rest of that seam we're only stuck here and here so we need to do the rest of that and the same again on top uh, it looks like this top section here may need <coughs> a little bit of uh, sprue goo or something like that so I shall go and do the same again I'm going to get some tape on there and I'm going to get this back piece on as well so we'll be back very shortly ok folks we now have the two halves glued together we've gone we've sanded it down a little bit now on this model we need to leave this seam in because apparently the seam was visible so that is now all together glued down we've gone and we've added the strip inside there you can now see the machine guns in there as well and we put this back panel in uh, we had to clamp this down together because there was quite a bit of gap down this side so that is now done so off camera we have gone and we have assembled the wings so these are now all together now I couldn't use if you look inside here it's actually some bits that were stuck to the inside of this wing before these top parts have gone on the ones you're supposed to use there was actually a defect in the mold uh, one of the pieces that arches around here inside half of it was missing it looked like it hadn't injected correctly so we went and we used some others but unfortunately the bits that go inside there do not fit with the other two parts so we've just left them blank these took quite a bit of work to get them to sit. They still need some more. These have literally just been glued. So they are still a little bit wet. So we may need to actually fill some of this out across this leading edge. Obviously we're going to have flaps and stuff here, but across this leading edge. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. We are probably going to need some filler and this literally just turn this upside down it actually fits just like that and it's in now I don't know whether this is supposed to be correct but you see the central seam line across here doesn't match up with this one here even though it is centralized in the body so I'm not sure about that that's probably just a again another defect so if we flip that over there are very very minimal gaps where the wing meets the main body and we will probably get away with this by when we glue it let's put some tape at the end of this wing pull it over tape it to that and just pull the two parts together and the glue will get rid of that seam no seam there really even when I let go with nothing really there very very small gap and it'll just it just pushes in and you lose that gap straight away so that is how far we are up to so I'm not again I'm not sure how long this video has been going on so I am going to call it there it could even be as short as 10 minutes I'm not sure so there we go so as always thank you very very much for watching be good, be safe, and of course, most of all, keep making models, and we shall catch you next time. Ta-ta!